Good morning, everybody. This is Denise Upsall. I am a Purple Status presenter from the Seattle area. And just this weekend, we had an amazing boot camp in Seattle for lots of ladies from the Pacific Northwest um, and Canada. Um, we had gals from Oregon and California and Idaho and probably other places that I don't know. Um, and it was fantastic. So one of the things we talked about uh, while, I was on the, while I was on the presenter panel was Pinterest. So I am going to do some videos to help you get started on Pinterest or if you're already on Pinterest to help improve your experience there. Um, so bear with me while we do this. Uh, and I also managed to wake up sick, so my voice is a little off, and I have my water here, so if you think I've disappeared, I'm probably just drinking water. So to start, let's close this beautiful picture. And here we are at Pinterest website, which is www.pinterest.com. Super easy. If you already have a Pinterest account, that's great, and I will show you in a moment how to transfer that convert that to a business account uh, and if you do not have a Pinterest account at all that's we're going to start there so it takes just a few seconds this is not my regular Pinterest I'm going to create a new account so we can work through this together okay so I'm just going to put my name in here And come on in. Okay, so at this point you would pick some stuff that you were interested in and that's going to help give you some followers to start out with. So I'm going to say makeup, recipes, fashion, eye makeup, Outfits, inspiration, shoes, we have to have shoes, funny quotes, oh, and what do you know, that's Grumpy Cat, which those who were at the event on Saturday heard that that is my nickname because I have a face that doesn't always look as happy as I am on the inside. Uh, so let's, okay, books, yada, 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 I don't want to do too many because I just want to get going here so I'm gonna skip the rest of these but if you're setting up your Pinterest you want to go through and you know actually pick out all the ones that you like then when you click follow then that gives you some people to follow automatically um, okay so you've got your Pinterest account now if you've already had an account for a long time you would be at the same uh, spot here so this from now I'm going to show you how to convert to a business account and a business account and a personal account look exactly the same from the outside but with a the one of the things that changed were the terms of service written by Pinterest and those say that if you are wanting to use Pinterest for commercial purposes which is the point of doing this for us uh, then you must have a business account and then you're able to set it up using your business name if you would like and the Pinterest business site gives you all sorts of educational materials that help you figure out the best way to market yourself and your products and there's new features being added all the time uh, and it's really easy to convert your account and you also have the option to just start a brand new account with your for your business but if you have a Pinterest account already, then you probably have some followers at least, and why lose those? You know, let's just kind of keep what we have. So I suggest converting. So you'll want to go up to, after you're logged into Pinterest, you want to go up to the top of your page here. And there's a, looks like an equal sign, but there's three lines. You want to click that, and down here at the bottom, businesses. So, and then under this red join as a business box, it asks if you already have an account, which yes we do, so you want to convert. So my business name is my must have mascara. My business type, mm -hmm. I mean you can probably pick whatever you want here. You could do online marketplace, local business, 
you could do retailer, I mean, kind of whatever you want. I am going to go with an online marketplace. No, you know, I'm going to go with local business because I sell cash and carry and I consider myself kind of a local business. And then this is for your website. Now, Pinterest, all a lot of us have personal domain names. For example, mine is mymusthavemascara.com. Uh, if you put that website into Pinterest, you know, when you're creating pins, sometimes it pops up with a little message that says, you know, oh, this could be a spam website. Are you sure you want to go on and visit it? So the way around that at this point is to use just your standard, your unique website. So if I open a new tab here and go to unique, up at the top here, this is my unique address. So I'm just going to copy that, go back to Pinterest, paste that in there, and say convert. So now, magically, I have a business account. One of the most important things you want to do to start out is add an image because this red, white push pin on a red background is not telling us anything about you. So we're going to say change picture choose file and since I'm we're so lucky we already have our headshots from this weekend so I'm going to use one of those and I also think it's a good idea to maybe use the same picture that whatever you're using on Pinterest you know you might want to use on Facebook and Instagram and you just make it so you're easily recognizable and everything kind of goes together now I don't know if I can I don't think I can move that so I'm not hanging out down at the bottom, but you get the idea here. So then you can choose what your username would be. So I'm going to make it my must have mascara. And then about you, you just want to have a little description here about your business. Um, I may stay at home mom of two running a fabulous business where I get to uplift, motivate, and validate other women by providing them with naturally based cosmetics to improve the way they look and feel both inside and out. Okay, so it's just something short and sweet and quick. <clears throat> Location that's, okay, so this is too long. Let's just try saying I run or I own, because we do own our own business, a fabulous business. Okay, let's try that and see if that works. Oh, it's still too long. Um, let's say uplift and well, goodness, it's not having any luck here. Oh, I don't know, that's just not, that doesn't look like 160 characters. Anyway, let's move on and see if we can. Oh no, it's not going to let me. So for now, I'm just going to put my domain name in there, but you'll have to come up with a little blurb that's less than 160 ca um, characters apparently before they'll let you move on. So let's just save our... I just cannot win here. Oh, 
Okay, so now we have our Pinterest up and running. And there's my little picture. Okay, so that probably would be it for this video. Just helping you get your Pinterest up and then I will come back to help you figure out what to do next.